It's my honor at this time to introduce a very special video retrospective on the life of a man who has affected us all profoundly and who we miss very much. Sisters and brothers, please watch the screen and remember the founder of the Gay Games, Dr. Tom Waddell. His name was Tom Waddell, and he met every challenge he ever faced. As an Olympic athlete, physician, father, person with AIDS, and founder of the Gay Games. Tom was only 49 when he died, yet he left behind a legacy that will benefit generations of us. Tom Waddell was a special man. Painfully honest about his own feelings, he was able to help many people touch theirs. I really felt like I was the only homosexual in my entire high school. I thought I was the only homosexual in the world, the only person who had those kind of feelings. I liked who I was. I liked what I felt. I didn't want any of that to change. But I didn't want to be this social, physical, bizarre outcast. I wanted to be liked. I wanted to have lots of friends. And, and I realized the way I was going to do that was not through my intellectual capacity, because I didn't feel any at the time, but through an athletic capacity. Tom proved his athletic skills in high school and went on to Springfield College on a gymnastic scholarship. Then, after medical school and an internship, he entered the Army and once again pushed himself as an athlete. At the age of 30, he made the U.S. Olympic team and a year later participated in the Mexico City Games. Tom Waddell competed in track and field's most demanding test of strength, speed, and stamina, the decathlon. It was Tom's belief in people and his wish to promote the pride and self-respect of lesbians and gay men everywhere that led him to organize the Gay Games in 1982. The theme and spirit was to be challenged and participants were encouraged to achieve their personal best. It was then that he met Sarah Lewinstein. I liked her instantly. She liked me instantly. And she'd been looking for the right person. I always wanted to have children. Um, I wanted to have two children, hopefully a boy and a girl. I met this man, and uh, he was in love with children as much as I was. And I seemed to have fallen in love with him and his attitudes. And I thought, how wonderful if we could work something out to where the two of us could have what we've always wanted, and to have this child. Jessica was born in 1982. It was another wonderful moment in Tom's life. He was a successful doctor, the gay games had become a reality, and he had fulfilled one more dream. He was now a father. But fate had one more challenge for Tom Waddell. I've got AIDS. I'm a, a host to something that in, in many ways is an accident. If I'd known that I was being exposed, I certainly would have taken steps to prevent it, but I didn't know. So there it was, and here it is, and I have it, and it's got to be dealt with. When he learned he had AIDS, Tom started a diary for Jessica, knowing that he would not be there to see her grow up. My dear child, you must know some things about me to understand more about your own life and how you came to be. You're so delicate and charming and bright as a precious stone. You were a miracle to me, my sweet darling. Tom Waddell died in July 1987. He was not only the founder of the Gay Games, he was our friend. And because of his courage and determination, we are all sitting here together tonight.